Yo, Counter Attack Podcast, we are back. Happy New Year, all that good stuff. Guys, there's a load of content for you this year. Do you get what I'm saying? You know, get ready to see Spence and Lamin back every week, most weeks. Um, you know, more players coming on. We've got one today, but guys, last year was an absolutely cracking one, and we're gonna pick it up. We're gonna pick up where we left off. We move, we move, we move. So um today. I've got on a very good young prospect. I think he's probably the youngest player we've ever had on it, to be honest. Um, so he's, he's another Blackburn player. You know, this is slowly becoming a Blackburn podcast, um, but it's not a Blackburn podcast. So you Blackburn fans that keep getting at me, get this player, get that player, like, wait your turn. Um, no, I'm joking, but we got him. Young player, great pod prospect, first one of 2021, um, yeah. Tyrese Dolan. So I'm just going to bring him in. Guys, make sure you keep liking, subscribing, sharing, and all of that as well. So, oops. Yeah, going to bring him in. Like, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. Let's make this year a massive one. Oh. Right. <laughs> and then, and then do it, do it back again. I was going to say one day. You yeah, there, yeah. Go. there you go. There you go. There you go. What's going yeah. on? Not too much, bro. You okay? I'm good, man. I'm good, man. Thank you very much for doing this. No, no worries. It's fine. Yeah, man. How's, how's your day been today, man? Yeah, it's been good. Um, like I said, training. Training as usual. Good session. And to come back just chilling at home. I've been a good day. What about you? That's been all right. Sit back just a little bit more. A little bit. Just so I can get your whole... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Everyone needs to see your that face of yours. It's not great looking, but we need, <laughs> <laughs> we need to see it. But yeah, no, no, it's, it's mine's been good, man. And obviously, I've been working. So just quickly, for let me come and do this one. First one of 2021. So um, right. yeah, wait, you're special, you know. <laughs> you're a special one. So um, I've had I've had a couple of weeks off, man, doing all this. I needed a break. I need yeah. to and, um, come back and just thought, let me get you one. And, you know, fair Ooh. pay to you. You've, you've cracked on. So how was your Christmas? Yeah, it was good. Um, obviously, it's um, been a little bit different to other ones like previously, but now we've made a good time out of it, man. It's just me. I've got quite a big family, so I've got uh, my three brothers here, actually. No, sorry, four. I had four. Um, one sister. So, yeah, mum and dad. So, yeah, there's a few of us, but now it's good, man. Just good time to relax, have a little day off, and now it was good. Yeah, and... Um, Previously, in, in like previous year, have you had Christmas off? Um, well, for me personally, I know the, the fir- a lot of first team, like they're in on Christmas Day, aren't they? But um, I've come from youth football, so we've always had the day off. But um, at, at um, Blackburn, we get, the, we get the day off, yeah. Okay. What's, what's, it, what's it been like for you um, this year? Like your first real year, no disrespect you know, to, to your time at Preston. But your, your first real year as a um, week in, week out, you know, starter, well, sometimes starter. Like, what's, it been, what's, what's it been like for you? Because obviously it's very different to, to youth football. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's a change, man. Um, obviously youth football, it's, it's, a, it's a big step up to the first team, like, had to um, mature quickly in football. So I remember when the, the first team came in and when we had to chain everything was just 10 times quicker, man. You take a touch, people are onto you, so... You have to change. You have to be steps ahead of the game. But now, from um, youth football, it's a big step up. But I think I've adapted to it well. And obviously, like I took my I took my chance with both hands when it came around. So yeah, it's good though, man. I'm enjoying it. It's good. When you when you joined Blackburn, though, did you have it in your head that you were going to play a bigger part as you did, or did you kind of think, you know, if I just if I just get my head down, work hard, I might get a chance. Well, me, um, my dad and my agent actually said to each other before on the day we were signing, actually, um, we set ourselves a little target. We actually said um, six months. We said um, six months we want to be in and around the first team. Um, so that was like a bit of a target. I always said to myself, six months and you'll, you'll, you should be in there if you keep doing the things you're doing. Um, but yeah, so it's like a couple of weeks <laughs> straight in. So like I had to... I don't know, I had to kind of, like I say, mature really quickly. So, yeah, it was good to obviously um, beat my target that I set for myself. Yeah. What what actually happened? Was it that you had a load of injuries or something and then you just got your... It, it, did, it, did, it did fall in um, in my favour. I think it was um, 
Sam Gallagher. Sam Gallagher. That was for when it was um, my professional debut, I'm sure, because um, I spent pre-season with the first team. Like um, They were short in a couple areas, um, so the, the manager obviously um, put me in and I was on the bench. And I remember it was Fleetwood. Fleetwood in a pre-season game. Um, they brought me on in the second half. And I think my first my first touch was an assist. So oh. I just got it whipped in the box and I said, so I think that caught his eye a little bit. So then he kind of kept me involved and I was doing well, like coming on, bringing energy. And then obviously it came to the first game of the of the season. Oh no, it was Carabao Cup. Mm. Carabao Cup. And Sam Gallagher got um, an injury. So I had to step in and be um, be on the bench. And um, thankfully the gaffer, it gave me the chance to come on and obviously make my professional debut. Yeah. Um, what was it? Because um, I hear stories and, um, and I've seen it on the internet and stuff like that. What did you do to um, Rothwell in training? Oh, um, is that what the I see? I seen that going around. I think it was just um, it's in training, like um, so, like like uh, I like to be excited in training, like to express myself. So I think it was just bare mad skills. I don't, I don't actually, I don't actually think, I don't actually think it was Rothwell. I think I don't want to dig people out here, but I think it may have been ranking Costello. <laughs> um, and I brought, out, I think I brought out the flair in the air, so everyone was like going mad about it. Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's that's the thing with that's the thing with training, man. You do a bit of skill and that. If it's on someone, they get meg. Don't hear the yeah. end of it. Yeah, would you say you're the um, you're the most skillful in in that in that team? Um, I'd say to do the, to do skills like ex, like express skills on the pitch. Mm. I'd say I, I'm the one. Yeah, but we do have a lot of skillful players. Like I say, Rothwell, um, Elliot, he's skillful. Um, like I can say. Um, yeah, there's a few, man. There's a few that like to bring out the skills, but I'd say more frequently, it's it's me that likes to bring them out. That's it. Talk it. Talk it. You're the man. You're the man, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, obviously, we've covered that you joined in Blackburn. In fact, what was it about Blackburn that made you go there? Because you left Preston after not being given a deal, a professional contract, which, did that come as, as a surprise to you at the time as well? It, it did, like, because... Like I said, I was always, I was doing so well that I felt like I was the, not to be like a bit big headed, but the, the main one in the team. So um, when it came to the time, we actually kind of got told a few weeks before that it could be, it could be a no because of the, the virus and everything and the money shortage. Um, and they have quite a big squad, uh, the first team, the first team at Preston is, is got a lot of players. So uh, me and my agent um, kind of knew a few weeks before it could be a no. So it gave us a bit of time then to get ahead of ourselves. Like, speak to clubs, get ourselves out there. So like when the time does come, if it is a yes or a no, we can get the ball rolling straight away. Yeah. And how long after you left was it clear that Blackburn were going to be the ones? I think that they were actually the 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 last club that we found out about. Um, so as soon as I got told no, my agent had already spoken to a few clubs were saying to come down on a trial, but we didn't want to go on no trial. We'd rather be offered something concrete first and then but if it wasn't then a trial. Um, so I think it was Carlisle. Carlisle, Carlisle came through and um, offered a deal. Fleetwood um, offered a deal, um, and then my agent was actually speaking to Blackburn. So we just said like, hold it out a little bit, just wait and see what Blackburn said. And then um, they came through with um, obviously they came through and said, oh yeah, well, no trial. We'll give him a, we'll give him a, a two year pro. Um, so straight away I thought I, I wanted to go personally because it's a for their. I was mainly thinking about that 23s. It's um, it's a Cat One club. They play in the Premier League Division One. Um, so I thought to go there and play against all the top under 23 teams and show the level because Preston was a category three team. Mm. So we were we were like nowhere near that that sort of league. Yeah. So I think for me to go there was kind of um, a no brainer just to basically go and express yourself against the best. Yeah, and and for you because obviously you're you're only well at the time you joined 18. You yeah, 18. Yeah, so at the time you joined, you were, you were 18. So it's all pretty new to you. How much of that that falls onto your lap? So you is it literally just like, okay, I want to go there. And then everyone else just gets the deal done. Do you have to speak to the manager? Is there anything you have to do? Or is it literally that your agent tells you and then you say yes, and then he gets it done? Yeah, basically an, an agent just does kind of all the stuff that like, you don't really want to be doing like I didn't really want to be going and speaking to like a manager say about coming to the club. That's, that's like what my agent does. So he was just speaking to him, and when I basically said me and my dad, because my dad plays like a big role in my in my football journey, um, and he has a close relationship with my agent as well. So like us three kind of just sat down and had a chat with each other and basically said, 
Blackburn looks like the move. So then it just all on the agent. Then he tries and gets the best deal he can. He speaks mm. to the agent about what plans do they have for me, where do they see me fitting in the squad, etc. So yeah, it was all pretty much once I said yeah, it was all down to him then. Yeah, so you, you've you've joined the team. Were you nervous when you first joined? Yeah, it's always it's always nervous going into any new team. Um, but like I say, just when it comes to training time, like it, it kind of just goes because you're doing what you love. So I just thought like this is it now. Like I got to make the most of it because if I don't do too much here, like it's it could be like you know the yeah. end of it. So I make, make make the most of it pretty much. What's what's the main thing? Because we get a load of like young players actually watching this. We get a load of young players who are, who are who have actually made it in the game. We got a load of players who are trying to um, find their way. But what what is the main thing for you in order for you to like? You know you're a, a youth team under twenty threes player, but how are you able to to change things in your mind or motivate yourself um, in a way where you can actually go and play for the first team um, for, for yeah for the first team? Like, how did you manage to do that? Mainly, I think it's down just just to self belief. Like don't don't think just because that's the I mean that's the label that the first team. You kind of get a little bit panicked when you when you hear the first yeah. team. But for me, I just seen it as guys who were doing the same thing as me playing football and I love to play football so when I first went up to training I thought just go there work hard like let the manager see the energy that you bring to the team and straight away everyone was saying this guy just don't stop running man he don't he doesn't stop running that's what I do I just ran non-stop so I thought that caught the eye that I've got like energy level so high and obviously then you bring the the skill the quality into it but I'd say it's mainly down just to self-belief and confidence you go in there don't don't have no fear be free when you're playing yeah, no, that's 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 I totally agree with that. I think across the board in life, anyway, like if you've got enough self belief, like you'll you'll do it. Do you get what I'm saying? Definitely. And fair play to you. Like I talk to like Jono literally almost every day, and I remember at the beginning of the season, he said, "Oh, have you seen that, that Dolan kid?" And I and I was saying, "Nah, is, is he good?" He was just like, "Nah, he's absolutely a madness," and he's come. <laughs> he said he's he's coming and and he's taking his chance. And I was like, okay, fair enough. And then literally you I saw as the games went on, like you were like growing, growing more and more and more. And could you feel that as well, like just becoming more at home? Yeah, definitely. Once like I settled in with the the first team environment, I definitely like it just it stepped my game up even more. Like I didn't I didn't feel a bit like then the young kid in the team. I felt I'd, after a few weeks or so, I just felt like one of them. I fit in straight away, like yeah. John O, um, Elliot Bennett, everyone made me feel at home. So yeah, as soon as I got in there, like it was just like home to me. Yeah, who's who's the one that looks out for you? Them obviously they all kind of look out for you, your, your team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who would you look at and think, nah, he really has helped me, like settling? Um, I'd say the main main one who looks out for me the most, I'd say, is Elliot Bennett. Mm. Elliot Bennett, could, but he, he's that sort of guy. Do you know what I mean? He's um he's a leader, like he's like I say, he's he like he always looking out for you, like you're checking out how you're doing today. You okay? Like yeah, I'm good. Like anything you need, come and chat to me. Like, that's what he dropped me a message when like, I started training with him and he knew that I was going to be around it. He was like, yo, if you ever need anything, like, you can come and see me. So I'd say Elliot Bennett, but all of them, man, like, they're, they're, yeah. all, they're, all, they're all been a credit. So I got to thank all of them, but I'd say the main one, Elliot. Yeah. What, what would you say, yeah, is the main difference between playing youth football and playing first team football? What have you noticed straight away? The speed of it. Speed. Speed, yeah, it's just another level. Um, and I'd say how how quick players are near you, even though it's a it's a bigger pitch, and sometimes you're watching football and you think it got it looks like you've got all the time in the world. Like you take a touch, if it's a bad touch, it the ball's gone. Mm. Like you got that's why you gotta be like pitch perfect. Every touch has got to be right, because if it's not, people are gonna be onto you. That's what I noticed, especially in training. Like you take a touch, bang the right onto you. So yeah. I'd say that's that's something from you, football to like first team football is definitely the speed of the game. And and now obviously still being so young, um, you you're getting first team football. How important is it for you now? In like looking back with hindsight, how important is it for you to say, you know what, you need to go out and get senior football as and when you can, rather than sitting in these under twenty three. Obviously, what you say isn't gospel, but how important is that for you? Do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. I say. The, the earlier, the earlier, the better. Like I say, um, to go and get like men's football, even if you're at a, like you say, you're at a high club, you want to go, you're thinking of a loan move. If, 
if your agent ever mentions a loan move to you, I'd, I'd take up straight away just to go and get men's football. Like, if you adapt as early as you can, you're going to be steps ahead when your time does come to play for your first team or if it be another. Mm. Have you noticed life change for you off the pitch in regards to people recognising you, people messaging you like since you've become this mainstay in the first team? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So um, I, I remember I had to... Um, I had to go to the, the club shop the other day, the Blackburn club shop. And um, I, didn't, I didn't actually know where it was. Um, so I, I parked up in the car park and I'm like looking around. And I said to some man that was walking past, I said, uh, I said excuse me, mate, do you know where the, the club shop is? And he was like, no way. <laughs> I was like, what? your time, that. <laughs> so he was like, I'll tell you where it is if I can take a photo. But nah, like to be, to be recognised, it, it's nice. Like it shows that people love what you do and like you're, you're putting a smile on people's faces. Mm. So now nah, to be recognised, it's, it's, it's a change. Like, because I've obviously I've never been going out and people have been saying like, oh, you're Tyrese, but mm. it's nice, man, it's nice. Yeah, I, I think that's one thing that a lot of players or just people in those positions don't realise, just the impact that they have on, on someone. Like you were probably just asking for direction, but to that man, he's probably just made his day. He's weak yeah. or whatever. So it's, it's so... It's so good that to see that, and it's so it's so. Did you actually take a picture of him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Don't, don't, don't stop that. Don't <laughs> he stop told me that he said he's not telling me where the club shop is, but don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's good. How do you how do you still still stay so grounded though, and and stay so humble with it? Because you're you're still young, and a lot of your people, your age, they're they live in normal lives. Let's let's say. So, what keeps you grounded? I like like I say to people all the time. You say like like you're smashing it, you're doing so well. I say like, it can be took from you as quick as it's given to you. Mm. So for me, like just to keep working hard every single day and like remaining the same person and mainly remembering where I come from. Yeah. Like being that being that kid of that on the streets playing football, just enjoying it. Like I can't think just cause I'm playing in the first team, like I've already made it cause there's still mountains to climb to get to where I want to be. So yeah. I'd say that's just not getting ahead of myself, like staying in the moment. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's so, that's so true. Um, who was I talking to? I was talking to, I, I don't even know who, who it was I was talking to, but they were saying that um, how they manage it is that they never let themselves get too high and they never yeah. let themselves get too too low. Oh. They literally just just stay there and, and they, they yeah. also, it does wonders for them. And, and in regards to that, like I've seen, like when I, when I see you on Twitter and stuff like that, you speak up for mental health a lot. And people might look at you and, and say, oh, you're only young, what do you know? But how important is looking at mental health for people, even at your age? Because people just think you're just out here living life, playing football. But is that something that you actually have to look to and focus on and actually pay attention to? Yeah, definitely. I've, I've definitely tapped into it more, a lot more recently. Um, but I think it's a big thing, like, especially for, for, for footballers as well, not just not just people who, who are working and some people like who, who aren't working, like it's it's strong for footballers as well, like to go through the ups and downs in football and like people sometimes just see the, the pinnacles of football, like they see like the, the money, the fame, like you're getting paid to kick a ball around, but there's so much behind closed doors that like people don't see like the, the sacrifices you have to make, like the, the ups and downs. So I tell you mental health, that's why I've been speaking on it a lot. Um, and I've become... Um, an ambassador for Go Again who help who help children who or not even children as well just like people who have been let go from their clubs mm -hmm. and they're struggling to like find a way in the game they can come to us and we can redirect and help them go pretty much wherever like so I think it's a big thing for me definitely there's someone in your kitchen yeah my mum <laughs> well, I told her the kitchen's off limits. <laughs> hi hello mum how are you <laughs> hey, everyone watching and listening at home, that's that's Tyree Sterling's mum. Just in the <laughs> kitchen disturbing us, mate. Like, <laughs> <place one. laughs> but um, yeah, now because um, I don't want to say too too much on on this topic, but you obviously lost a friend, and um, without without saying too much, um, what what I do want to talk about is the support that you you feel that players get when they leave clubs. Like, how did that hit you and how did that make you look at it, like, in regards to life away from football and just looking after yourself? And if more can be done um, from clubs? I think, I think more more can be done, um, definitely. Like I say, I've, I've been released myself. Mm. Um, and there isn't actually 
too much that goes into it. It's kind of just like you, you're there, you, you feel like you've obviously you've been let go, and then not not too much after you're kind of making your own way. Then you're kind of on your own. Um, but I'd say for for people who do like get released from clubs, just like don't. Obviously, I know it's a it, it's sad. Like it, it upset me when I left, but just try and like just keep going. Like keep your head held high. Like don't don't think it's a knockback. Just use it as motivation to find somewhere who value your work and mm. prove them wrong. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Like, I think that's. I think that's that's the thing with with a lot a lot of people they 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 get released from club and I can say this because I'm old enough but I understand especially when you're younger and football's your life do you know yeah. what I mean like like I'm doing this podcast now but before I came on here I was doing my nine to five like I've got stuff to do I've got the podcast I still play football um, semi professionally do you know what I'm saying so I've got that but when you're young and football is your life and you feel like there's no other way it can be very hard when you get released from those. Yeah. So um, I, I definitely do appreciate when any player that, like yourself comes out and says, look, it can get hard, but there's a way that there's people yeah. to speak to. And, and um, yeah, man, long may it continue. So if there's anything I could do to like support that or get the message out, then I'll, I'll, always, I'll always help out with that, innit? Oh, thank but, you, bro. Um, yeah, but obviously when, when you went through whatever it took you, was that why you came out of the team for a bit? Um, well, no, like uh, a lot of people did say to me, like take take some time off, um, and just like don't don't come in, take maybe like a week or two off if you need it. But like, I, I just thought like doing what I love is is kind of like Therapy. my cure a little bit. Like, so I, I I was I was in t- the same day, yeah, just there, uh, just because like football is what I loved. Like, if I was just in my house on my own, like it can it can get lonely, it can get upsetting. So mm. I think I was just. And obviously, I, my my playing would have been a bit different. Like, my, I'd have been da- down, so it would have been harder. It was hard, a lot harder to train. I wasn't myself, but mm-hmm. I just needed to be around it. Like, still keeping on with like my same day to day stuff. Yeah. Um. Are you good now? You're good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Like, like I say, you have you have your days where you you feel good. You have your days where you feel really down. Like, there's ups and downs to it. But like, with the support of like friends, family, the club, mm-hmm. like they've they've helped me a lot. Yeah, I, I don't think people realize how massive of like how big like it's, it's almost like therapy being on that pitch do you get what I'm saying and yeah. and like you you being out there with, with, with a smile on your face and you know in, enjoying your football again is what we love to see and and I've noticed and I've been told as well that you have a great bond with one of your teammates Harvey Elliott yeah 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 um, I, I, how good is he because we get a load of questions asking about a load of your players and and Harvey Elliott is one that does come to mind, and and because you are cl- close to him, like how good is he? Because he's he's lighting it up this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's I can't. He's cold, man. He's a good player. Like it's 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 hard to say. Like he's he's just he's so old headed. Like he's he's mm. seventeen. Like people forget he's seventeen. Like but he plays as if he's like he's had ten years of experience in in the league. Like he just he's, he steps ahead. And now um, nah, he's since he's coming, he's flying man and long may it continue for him I hope that when his, his loans up he can go into the Prem and do what he does like do what he's been doing but yeah. now I think he's, he's a credit he's a credit to the team he's a credit to the club yeah he, he looks like someone that's going to go all the way to to the top because yeah. when I do watch your games as well you know what you hit the nail on the head he plays like he's older yeah he plays, he plays like an older pro he's got this maturity about him and and it's, it's weird because I didn't obviously he didn't he didn't play an enormous amount of games for Liverpool yet because he still he, he come on here and there played yeah here and there but I was interested to see how you would do at Blackburn do you know what I mean because this ain't pretty football every week oh, yeah oh. so and when I see him and I see the, the decisions he makes on the pitch and and not only that the respect he has on the pitch for someone so young it's it's crazy man and you know Blackburn in you two obviously he's on loan and you know um, you're not but you've got they've got some talent. They've got some talent and, you know, that push for the Premier League is within the camp. Are you quietly confident about playoffs? In in, in this team, like, I know we've had, like, like we've, we have, we've been a bit inconsistent. Like, we've had times where, like, we're firing and people saying, like, that, that this is a top six team. Like, and I, we believe we are. And mm-hmm. um, we just need to, like, like I say, sort, sort out the, the consistency a little bit and start picking up 
points. I think we dropped, we did drop some easy points, but mm. this team, like the the quality that's in it, we definitely the top six. We can do it. Like we just, like I say, need to be grabbing these points while we can. I know last year, obviously you weren't there last year, but last year they missed out on it towards the end. But I look at the team and I actually think it's a better team. I actually think you you guys are. Um, a, lot, a lot a lot of the lads are saying it's looking like this is the this is the strongest squad. Like when when we're fine, it's looking like the the, the best squad they've had in in a in a while. So the confidence that like I say the confidence is there, the quality is there. We just like I say we need to do it when it comes to the time on the pitch. Mm. When you look at the fact that you're going for the Premier League, obviously you're just thinking next game, next game, next game. But do you get home? Because you're still you're still really young, and it's not even about young. You're still a normal guy then that you love football. Do you go home and think, oh my gosh, like I could play in the Premier League? I like. Do you still, you know, buzz for that? All, all the time, like I say, I say it to my dad. Like, just imagine if we get promoted to the Premier League, like playing in the Premier League, like that's the boys. The boys say it as well, like. We can like we can do it. So the buzz is there, but the buzz would be even better if we we're in that top six and we're in the playoffs and we're and we get into the Premier League. Like that's that's the vision we have. Like that's what drives us every single day. Obviously, we know it's next game, next game. Like yeah, yeah, don't yeah. be thinking too much. Just take it game by game by game. But like like I say, you can't think like it's hard not to think about it. Do you know what I mean? It's the Premier League. So do you know, like I say, we do you can't. Know what, do you know what's so funny about that? What's so funny is that you um, you're talking about it normally. But then it's almost like, oh no, wait, let me catch myself. I've got to put my media. <laughs> you got to bring yourself back down. Yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got to put my media hat on. Oh no, wait, game by game, game by game, and blah, blah, blah. Game blah. By... <laughs> it's nice, it's nah, that's, that's, that's too funny. But um, what do you do in your in your spare time? My spare time, like, I, I'm different, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't play any games. Like, a lot of a lot of my team are addicted to the PS4s, the Xbox, mm. I don't play them. So for me, like, just, just chilling, like, I chill with my brothers or, like, I'm just, a lot of the time, music, you know. Music? Like, big, yeah, big music fans, so a lot of the time just chilling with music or, like, say, films listen? and that. Yeah, let me, let, just let, getting let me down see. to who, who do you listen to? Let me, let me hear this. Me, I, but I listen to so much. I listen to loads, you know, like, like I said, obviously, you got the, 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 like, the new hit, like, the Gunner, the Little Baby, but I like the, like, Rick Ross, Little Wayne. Oh, come on. Every, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. You know what? I was thinking... Let me see what this guy's going to say. And, 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 and I'm, I'm there. I'm there with you. I'm there with you with, with the Ross. Are you on the way? Oh, come on. Come on. Ross, Ross, is, Ross is my guy, man. Ross, <laughs> I, I, was watching, I was watching something the other day. People at home are probably thinking, what the heck? But um, I was watching this something the other day, uh, a podcast called I Am Athlete. And um, it's a podcast with four American footballers. Well, it's, it's retired now. And Rick Ross was on it. And just the fact that he was there... I could, you know the way Rick Ross talks, he's just so, yeah. he's, everything about it is just like, ah. I, yeah, he's cold, man. I, I, need, I need a new Gucci headband. I need, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he's, he's, I definitely like um, Rick Ross. I'm a Rick Ross and, and J. Cole fan. I was, just, I was literally just about to say J. Cole. No, no, J. Cole is, is like the favourite. Yeah, he's goaded, like he's yeah. clear. Yeah, J. J. Cole's my guy. That's, that's what I definitely listen to. Um. All right, then, cool. What, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ask you a series of random questions um, just to, you know, I don't know why, I just do it. Um, you're looking at Premier League. Who do you support first? United, I support. Really? Yeah, United fan. I should, oh, I'm say, I, I say Blackburn. I'm saying Blackburn, so Blackburn fan. Well, not yeah, United. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to edit it so, so it's Blackburn now, Jake. But um, <laughs> I don't know why. I, I thought you was a City fan. I thought you'd be a City no, fan. No, no, no. Man United fan. Okay. Well, like, you know what's mad? When I was a kid, a lot of people would say, how can you be a, a United fan and you play for City? It's like, bro, if City come knocking on the door, you're not, <laughs> you're not going to turn it down, are you? <laughs> no, hey, that's funny, though. When you was at City, obviously you were young and you just playing at City, but did you ever look at it and think, I'm not really going to make it at this team? Like, no, nah, like, like I say, I've always had that self-belief. Like, even though, like, like a lot of the time, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't in the starting eleven like I wanted in the team, but like I always thought I can, I can play in this team. I, like I, I know I know my values. You know what I mean. So for me, I always thought like get me in this team and I, I can go all the way. That's I think that's what gives me that confidence to play and just be myself. Mm. Like I say from young boys had that. Like and my dad says it all the time. Like yeah. if I if I don't have a, if I have a bad game, he'd be grilling me because he'd be like, "You're so good." Like that's why it stresses me. Yeah. So he he gives me that self confidence as well. Like to believe I'm the best. 
Yeah, who's your who's your favourite United player? My favourite United player, I'd have to say, like I say, Rashford. I'm I'm good. I'm friends with um with Greenwood, so I I love what he's doing, what he does to the team. But Rashford's like yeah, Rashford. Do, 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 do you wanna pick up pick up the the names, friend, friends, <laughs> friend? <laughs> but yeah, no, um, Bruno. But Bruno, he's 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 smashing it in the Premier League right now. Bruno Fernandez. So yeah, um, I was gonna say if you had to give me your your Premier League eleven. Not not just United, like across the board. Premier League eleven, starting with your goalkeeper. Wait, what what, what formation are you gonna do first? Me, I'd probably say four three three. Uh cool. Who's who's your goalkeeper? I'd say Allison. You think he's the best in the league? I rate him, man. I like him. Okay. I think Edison for me is Yeah, Edison's good as well. You know what? I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you, like I still think, and people are gonna get me for this. I actually still think De Gea is still the best. Nah, De Gea is good, man. De Gea is good. He just, he just gets slated a lot. Yeah, I, I, I still think De Gea is the best, man. But okay, cool. It's your team. Go. So, Allison, left back. Um, I'm just where I'm just trying to think. Um, now nah, one second is right back, man. Right back, one second right back in it. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm not gonna start right back. I go one Bissaka. I think he's fly tackles at the top. Yeah. Um. But see, I know, I know Van Dyke's injured, but he has to be, he has to be, um, to be at the back. Um, this is tough, man. It's tough. Van Dyke, I don't want to carry this on for too long. Um, struggling for all the centre back, man. I'm trying to think. Not been asked this question before, you know, but in the Laporte, starting eleven, so just Laporte, Ruben Neves, not Ruben Neves, Ruben Diaz. Um... Who else is there? There's not really that many good centre backs. Nah. I don't know. Who I, like Laporte. I, I'd say I like Laporte. I put him in. I put Laporte okay. in. Laporte. Left back. Left back. Oh. Trying to think, man. I mean, like I say, I'm a United fan. I like to say sure, but I, could, I probably couldn't at the minute. No, nah, um, you can't. <laughs> nah, I couldn't at the minute. Um, for defenders, man, I'm not too. I don't know, you know. Um, I take um, for left back, I take Robertson. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I think Robertson is is the one I would have gone for. Yeah, I'm an yeah. Arsenal fan, so Tierney is also right up there um, for me. Okay, yeah. Well, you're three in the middle. My three in the middle. I, um, for a for a holding, I, I love Kane, man. It's hard work. I love Kane. It's hard work, man. It's just what? next level. Um, I'd say with two in the middle. Got to put Bruno in there for like what he's doing in the Premier League at the minute. Like he's good. Um, and um, De Bruyne as well. Ah, oh, yeah, easy. Yeah, definitely. He's his his range of passing is is a joke. Yeah. All right. Cool. On the left. On the left, I'd say. See, I, I like Rashford, man. I love I love Rashford, but like I say, he's got to be like you got to be put in. Um. Like Marnie or something on the on the left or something. Marnie on the left, definitely. Marnie on the left, on the right, on the right. Salah, you got. I'm putting putting Salah, <laughs> putting Salah on the right, man. And he's then, cold as well. And then um, up top, up top. Uh, up top. Is it? Are we talking in like in form? Just you, whatever you want. Just. I like Aguero, man. Aguero up top. Inform Aguero, yeah, up top, definitely. You're you're definitely you're definitely smart. Do you know what I mean? Because um, yeah, definitely my team. That. I mean, honourable shout outs to. I have to put a mention of Bamiang. I don't care if I support Arsenal. Yeah, no, nah, I, really, I like Bamiang. Shout man. out to um, Harry Kane. Son, Son is a good one. Oh, oh, sh- nah, almost. Sugar. <laughs> Sugar. Nah, so, nah, Son and Harry Kane like them two together. That's one second. One second. Okay, obviously they don't see at home, but I just pause that so we can so we can chat. I had to talk you through your game a bit. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So yeah, we didn't honourable shout out to Son. We didn't um talk about that one. But um, yeah. All right, cool. Right. What else is there to do? Very quickly. Uh, going down my list. Blackburn. 
Do you think you will get, we've spoken about that, do you think Blackburn will get prem promoted? Not promoted. I like no, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm not gonna do that to you. But you think, you, you definitely think Blackburn can um, get to the playoffs at least. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's, it's, proper, it's proper tight in, in, that, in, that, in the champ. You yeah, like, you just it on changes around. quick, like you can be, you can feel like you're like a fair few points behind because there's so many games, like you're playing two a week. So like the points can chop and change quick. So you could be you could be finding yourself fifteenth. Mm -hmm. Two three games later, you can you can you can be like yeah. around touching top six. Like it's it's crazy how it changes. So I'd like to say yeah, definitely. I think we could. And do you have any like targets for yourself? So now that you're in the team, because at the beginning you gave yourself six months to be in and amongst the team. Yeah. Now that you're there, do you have targets for like goals, assists, and and stuff? Um. Well, current, currently I think I'm on um three three goals two assists um, and I'm on, I think it's 17 or 18 appearances in the championship. I targeted myself for these 23, these 23 games left. Mm -hmm. So I targeted myself for um, 40 championship appearances come the end of the season. Yeah, I know. Like I set the bar high because yeah. if, if I don't achieve it, then I'll be like, all right, next season I'm going to get it. Yeah. Uh, so, and I put myself on six goals and six assists. So obviously I've scored three. I want to double that, but add to my assists as well. Are you talking about for the year, or did you? Or no, just just for the remaining of the so what I got okay, three, okay, more, okay, three okay. more goals for assists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you know what? You, you can get that. Yeah, no, nah, no. I'll, I'll, I'll just I'll just call your gaffer and tell him to just play you nonstop. <laughs> you got that. You got that easy. You need to put me on penalties. That's what they need to do. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Penalties. Um, oh, how good is um, Armado? Oh, he's a joke. Yeah, a joke. He shoots as... like he's striking. The, probably the best I've seen. Like he's finishing, even in training, everything she's buying, like it's just, it's in. Yeah, he's. And you can see, like, he, w when he gets in front of a goal, like he, he just knows what he's doing. Like, mm. he's second age to him, touch, bang, and it's in. Mm. I do, I do watch him in training a lot. Like, I don't obviously, like, I, like I say, I'm myself, I don't, I don't like put my game around anyone. I don't try to be like anyone. But when I see him in front of goals, like, I need to start doing that. Man. Yeah, yeah, no. What's your. If you had to pick your favorite position and role, like where do you see yourself long term? Because when you're young, obviously you sometimes get put anywhere across, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I'm I'm actually I'm not a winger. Mm. I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not a four, like a like a like I say a right forward or a left forward or right winger left winger. I was actually I've actually been a number ten man like my whole playing career. Mm. Um, but I've I've had to play like for Preston. Like sometimes I've been playing on the wings and I can't do it. Yeah. Um, but since I've been in the first team, I enjoy playing there. Yeah. Um, but I tell you, I tell you, naturally I'm a I'm a number ten. Yeah. Um, but I tell you now that I'm new to the first team scene, it's a bit crazy in the middle. Mm. Like, a lot's going on. So I say from a breakthrough season, like I'd like to be on the wings where like you're getting it, and you're just kind of expressing yourself. You got a little bit a little bit more space than you have in the middle. Mm. Um, but I say in the definitely in the seasons to come, I'd like to be in around the ten role, but the wing role as well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. So you've you've had time to settle in now. Um. Within your team. Couple questions, quick fire question. The funniest player, the funniest, the funniest player. Oh man, the funniest player. Um, someone who made me laugh. He's not. He's, he's on loan. Charlie Mulgrew. He was. <laughs> he's funny. Um, what I say though, um, There's a lot of jokers, you know. There's a there's a lot of jokers in the team. But I tell you, for me, when it when it was Charlie Mulgrew, like when he was here, yeah. just made me laugh, man. Okay. Um, who's got the worst dress sense? Who dresses the worst? Tom Tribal. <laughs> bro, he's nah, he, like like he's my guy, but he stepped in looking like a roll, like a Roman baggy track to the beanies on him training and that. But nah, I'd say, yeah, that Tom Tribal, Tom Tribal. Or Lewis Holtby. Oh really? What what he wore to the Christmas party was bro, he should have went home. <laughs> <laughs> he should have went home. He should have gone home. Um the hardest trainer. The hardest trainer. I put myself in there. Uh, <laughs> uh, now nah, I say the hardest trainer is someone who works hard. Um, Holtby works hard. Lewis Holtby. Lewis Holtby. He, he, does, he, he works hard. Yeah. Mm. Um, the toughest player you got at that club, you reckon? Jono. You think so? Yeah, nah, he's tough, man. Um, but there's like there's a there's a few like Darrell Lennyham's tough. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'd say Jono, Dara. Lewis Travis is strong tackler. Is strong tackler. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a few. There's a few. It's a, it's a big squad, man. 
John is going to be buzzing with that one, man. He's going to be <laughs> um, most That's skillful. Good. You've already said you think you're the most skillful. I did. I said I expressed myself the, the <laughs> most. I'm a bit. Come on. But now, nah, yeah, I, yeah, I probably. I'd say me is um, Rothwell, Rothwell skillful. I said that I am an Elliot skillful, but like I said, on the pitch, probably me who does the most. Mm. And fastest, who's the fastest player? See, this is this is the mad one. When Rothwell runs with the ball, no one's catching him. Yeah. No yeah. one can catch him, but the the quickest, Armstrong's quick, Armstrong's quick. Mm. I'd, I'd probably say, uh, like, in a straight way, I'd probably say Armstrong. Yeah. Okay, cool. And um, the last one I've, I've got is, who do you reckon the player is in the team with the most tech? With the most tech? In what in what way, like, okay. are you talking? Just technical players. So, okay, if I say passing, if you, if you think of someone with, with when they're passing, they've got the technique on, on smash, who is that? Harvey's got, Harvey's passing is like, top, bro. I, I tell you, for passing, like, it's, I'd say Harvey, man. Harvey's got good passing. Okay, shooting. Armour. Armour all day, all day. Okay, cool. And oh yeah, one more, one more actually. Who's, who's the moniest? <laughs> the moniest. The moniest. <laughs> the moniest, I'd say. Oh, I don't know, you know. The moniest. <sighs> Hope he likes a moan. Hope he does <laughs> like a moan. Nah, he does, you know. He likes a moan. Uh, um cool. yeah, I just thought I'd go with that. But yeah, no, that's that's literally um what I have today. That's literally what I have. Like, thank you so much for doing this. Um I really do appreciate it and you know, long may it continue you, you know, pushing on and, and having a good season, man. So you look like Thanks, you're enjoying it out there. I saw yeah, I saw on your on your Twitter feed one time where it was like I think I think it came from the, the the Rovers account and the game finished and you were going around just hugging everyone. You just looked like you just loved it out there. Yeah. You just looked like you absolutely loved nah, it. Nah, I do it like, that's what I mean. Like just, just being on the pitch, like looking around, it's it's crazy to me. So like I say, I'm grateful for every single moment like that I'm out there playing. So mm. like I say, I made the most of it. But you're itching for the fans to come back now as well, man. Yeah, definitely. Like all the time that like I'll get messages off the fans saying like, can't wait for you to do your backflip in front of them, like the Darwin end and all that. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I forgot to bring that up. Your 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 backflips, like, yeah, I dropped, I dropped that in on purpose. I dropped that in on purpose, bro. For you forgetting about me and sort of <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, um, yeah. And where did where did that come? From? I'm I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw that, it literally spun me. I was like, wait, what's, what's he what's he doing backflips for? But where did you find <laughs> that? Uh, do you know what it was? Yeah, bro. It's not. Like, I didn't even like think. Oh, that I'm gonna practice this I, I was good I've been good on trampolines from when I was young mm. so and I could do like backflips and all that and I don't know just natural and I thought wait if I can do this on the ground then I've gone clear so then yeah. I've ran done one of them handsprings and bro just landed it like yeah it's, it's bad I like people say nah that looks solid for me it's easy like and I, did, I didn't I didn't practice nothing so yeah I just thought if I score for Blackburn I'm doing that backflip yeah no nah, I, I, I love that <laughs> if, if I try that backflip my hamstring's gone my, my, <laughs> my house seems gone if I, if I try that. But yeah, no, nah, um, honestly, man, um, I look forward to seeing you progress over the years, man. And, you know, a couple more years and your beard's going to connect. Um, yeah. Bro, I wish, man. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, bro. Try and cast the rail and everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, nah, you, 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 you'll get that. But um, yeah, man, just... Enjoy the game while while you can, man. And just enjoy the road, man. Because I know, you know, sometimes when players get older and whatever, it becomes more of a job. But you know, whilst whilst you can, just enjoy it, you know. And that's all. I've yeah, got. I would definitely. So yeah, everyone watching this at home, you know, as always, like, subscribe, and share. And um, just as it goes, yeah, that's it. Share it with a friend. Get let let us know what you think. Comment and all of that all of that stuff and um yeah that's it